Good morning, everybody. And today is going to be a fun day because I get to finally test out my new Canon R3. Thanks to my friends over at Octopi Media and their relationship with the Monster Energy Supercross series, I'm able to get access to the Oakland Supercross round. So today, I'm going to take you guys behind the scenes of what it's like to shoot Supercross, but of course, test out the new R3. Let's go have some fun. Here I Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Can you go to the photo of the Yep, I know where that is. Thank you. Fifth floor, please. There it is. Thank you. Back to the photo den, dump photos, sort through them, try to get ahead of everything. I am making a BTS video. Okay. So, what's your name? My name's Elliot, uh, from the UK. Uh, second Supercross ever. What do you think? Yeah, it's different. It's, it's sunny, it's dry, everything the UK is not. Are you on Mr. Paul? Oh, no, definitely not. <laughs> Definitely don't miss the cold. But no, it's, it's all good. It's, everyone's been pretty pretty sound, like me and everybody, and yeah, it's been good. Who are you shooting for? Uh, so shoot for Dirt Hub in the UK, and uh, also work for like Race Effects, so we're like a distributor in the UK, so we have like a lot of different brands and stuff like that, so it's kind of cool to get content for, for work. Cool. What's it like shooting Supercross? Uh, it's fun. It's, uh, long day. Um, it can get kind of scary staying on the side of the track. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a good time. The myth, the man, the legend. How bad does it look? It's, not bad. No, it's actually not bad at all. It's like, hey, I'm going to give you a large. It's like, oh, okay, I'm definitely a large. What up, doggies? Sorry, man. How are you? See you. See you. My first name is Casey. Filming, uh, Star guys, 250 side, 450 side. Just trying to stay out of the way more than anything. It doesn't seem like a job, so I'm super fortunate. It took a long ass time to get where I am. I feel like the guy behind the camera right now is possibly attempting to do so. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I got a cool ass job. Doesn't seem like a job for the most part, so pretty fortunate. I get to hang out with people like Long, Sam Rice, Garth, Smarty, bunch of cool people. Bunch of cool influential people. And I get to eat cookies, which are probably my favorite part. Oh, like we're actually like putting pressure on the door. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what's, what's, oh, what's up? Yeah, so here we are on the floor of Oakland Coliseum uh, for the AMA Supercross Series. Super, super exciting down here. Uh, it's really crazy to be this close to the action. Super fun, but also super dangerous. So you really have to watch yourself. But at the same time, once you kind of get to your, your bearings and your feelings here, it's super, super fun. And um, it's, just, it's again, it's just a great opportunity to get so close to the riders to be able to get, you know, capture them with wide angle lenses, long lenses, everything else. Oh, yeah, 
hard to see him, huh? Like. My name is Cole Beach. I'm 23 years old. I, uh, I shoot for Align Media. I, this is my first full season working with Align. I've worked for Supercross in the past, being their video guy, creating opening ceremonies and stuff like that. And being able to do something in this industry, you know, that I love is honestly the coolest thing. Like, you know, I, I when I was younger, it was always a dream to shoot for Racer X or shoot for these teams and be under the lights and just to be able to be here and you know work alongside all these other great professionals it's something that i truly honor and i try not to always forget where i came from because five years ago i would have killed to be in the spot that i am now and it's easy to take it for granted and and um you know just forget where you came from so honestly super grateful for where i am and uh grateful to be working with so many talented dudes that show me how to uh, improve every day and capture the greatest war in the world, so. Well, that's a wrap for Oakland Supercross. I hope you guys enjoy the BTS and what it's like to cover a Supercross event. All these photographers and videographers working hard every weekend to get you guys content. I want to say thank you for being accommodating and showing me around. But I also want to thank Feld for allowing me to get access to Oakland Supercross to make this video happen. We just got to my studio where I'm going to share with you guys my first impressions of the R3. I think you guys will be pretty excited. Let's get into it. The first thing I'll talk about is the lens I went with for Supercross is the RF 100 to 500, F45 to 71. And the reason I went with this lens is because it just gives me a lot of versatility. I can shoot subjects that are close to me, but also a subject that's on the other side of the track. It just really helps me capture multiple angles from wherever I'm at the time. What was really interesting with the 1-500 and the R3 is I have used this lens on my R5 and to be honest, I don't completely trust it. I have missed shots with it before shooting events. So even though it gives me a lot of versatility, my trust in it with the R5 was low, but using this combination at Oakland Supercross, my hit rate was way higher. I was nailing shots, full sequences. Uh, I was really impressed and it made me a lot more comfortable knowing that in the future I can use this for events and trust that I will get the shot. So the next thing I'll talk about is the autofocus. And just for those people who are curious, I did use case log three. I was really surprised how snappy the R3 autofocus was. 
you know, it's what I expect out of a professional body, even though they don't consider this the flagship camera. I think it's just a little bit quicker than the R5. And to be honest, the R5 is a beautiful camera. It is sharp, it is fast, you know, for shooting actions. I've shot mountain biking and motorsports and all sorts of things. And I would hands down still trust the R5, but the R3s just seem to be a little bit quicker. And I'm excited to try out other sports with it, just, you know, just to see how it holds up. The other thing about the autofocus is because it locks onto everything, my percentage of in-focus shots are higher and I'm overshooting on H plus mode. So I changed it to H mode to help me prevent myself from overshooting. You're still getting 15 frames a second versus 30 frames a second in electronic shutter mode, but it's plenty. It's able to capture the action, especially if you're familiar with your sport that you're shooting, you shouldn't have a problem capturing what you need on even H mode. When people ask about the camera and how's it feel, to be honest, it, it feels like home, you know, I grew up using the 1DX body, 1DX2, I didn't upgrade to the 3 because I was waiting for the R5, you know, it just feels nice in the hand, it feels better than the R5 with the battery grip, it actually feels lighter, I need to weigh both cameras, I'll put that on the screen, on the weight of the bodies with the battery and the battery grip, it has this nice rubber texture around the body, just feels good in the hand, that it's not gonna slip or anything like that. You also have, you know, a smart button feature in the back, your flip out screen, well, you know, if you need to get the camera higher or lower, that's pretty awesome. The EVF is great, I'm used to it, because the R5 and especially this EVF, no blackout when shooting electronic shutter, I would say one tip is to make sure you have the shutter sound on or else you're gonna be taking a million photos wondering if you took a photo or not and then all of a sudden you're scrolling you're like, oh, I took all these photos, I didn't realize it. Garth, what do you think of the new R3? Your two Supercrosses in? Two Supercrosses in, I'm really enjoying the R3. It's, it's a phenomenal camera. It's super, super fast, blazing fast. And the photos are really, really crisp out of it, really sharp, the, um, the white balance is really good. Uh, everything about it, I really like it a lot. The one, the couple little things I would, I still wish the, the image transfer is a little quicker to your phone. Uh, it's a little clunky, takes a second to get the Wi-Fi and everything else, I wish you could just flick it right to your phone. That's the one thing I'm, I'm still a little disappointed on. But beyond that, the performance of the cameras are really, really good. Um, the image quality itself, like I said, it's super, super sharp. The percentage of keepers is way, way higher than any Canon product I've ever used before. And overall, I'm really, really pleased. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is image quality. This is a 24 megapixel sensor camera compared to the R5, which is a 45 megapixel camera. And going through the files, it's what I expect from a $6,000 camera. The colors were vibrant. I didn't have any issues. I was able to crop the images and still retain detail and dark sides of the track. And again, I'm really happy with the files I'm getting out of it. One of the questions I'm probably gonna get asked is, would you recommend this camera? And to be honest, I don't think I would. If you're not a working photographer and getting paid, to do this as a job, I wouldn't recommend it. It'd even be hard to recommend it if you already own an R5 because the R5 is already a phenomenal camera, shoots 45 megapixels, has awesome autofocus. I think it can, for the most part, keep up with the R3, even though I said the R3 is just a little bit faster autofocus. But if you haven't upgraded and maybe think about staying within the Canon line, the R5, it's beautiful, it can do almost anything, or even the R6, the R6 is essentially a 1DX3, and you know, the RF glasses are expensive, so you can get more if you're trying to get into the RF line. So those are my thoughts about the R3. Again, I'm excited to try it out on more stuff. Oaken Supercross is the first time ever using this camera, so, but very pleased. If you guys like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, comment in the sections down below. Your support means a lot to me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.